Fernando County now without a school district leader following the superintendent's abrupt retirement yeah. announcement. This all happened last night during mm -hmm. a school board meeting. Very unexpected. Tentava Bay's Malik Rankin joins us here in the studio with the reaction. Malik. We're seeing dozens of comments flood into different social media platforms in response to Superintendent John Stratton's shocking retirement announcement in last night's board meeting. Stratton gave a speech sharing he thought the decision over with his family recently and will step down at the end of the school year. He said he wanted to pursue other opportunities after dedicating the last 32 years to public education. In the nearly five minute long announcement, Stratton pointed to the impact politics has on his ability to give students in the county the best possible education. I have never felt political games had any place in determining how we educate our students. I've never understood the time and money spent on politics trying to impact public education and this position <clears throat> instead of spending time and money on the betterment of our students. Stratton ended his announcement thanking everyone for the support he's received while serving as the county superintendent. The school year and his time as superintendent ends on May 31st in Hernando County. The news came as a shock to the County Teachers Association. It's it's a little bit sad, to be honest, because I think Mr. Stratton's approach was primarily student centered and we appreciated that. Um, he's someone who never forgot what it was like to be an educator. The search will begin soon for a new superintendent in Hernando County. This comes nearly a year after calls were made for Stratton to step down after a teacher played a PG-rated Disney movie to students depicting a gay teenager. In studio, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay.